previously on Investigations 2. Have you seen a black dog around here? You know how Simon said he came to visit Knightley, right? While the guard was unlocking his handcuffs, all of a sudden Knightley struck the guard and knocked him out. So during the attack on the guard, the key to Knightley's cell was stolen, current location unknown. So you want to know my reasons for arresting that man? Perhaps you didn't know, but the victim carried a chessboard with him. Oh! Simon Keyes was the one who sent this chessboard to the victim in the first place, you dingus! The other thing that bothers me about this, though, is, like, we can't tell who this is. Like, it kind of looks like he could have been one of the guards. Simon Keyes entered the prison as a staff member for the animal show. Well, there you go. Now, where was I? Oh boy, welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. <laughs> oh, I just pressed the button. Um, wait, I need to sync this. So, three, two, one, go. Why did you not mention that beforehand? Wow, did we just like jump into the middle of a conversation here? No, but I did. What didn't I mention? You know, that you're a member of the Barry Big Circus. Are you that guy? Are you Ben? No, no, he's not Ben. New recruit? Oh, so you're basically like an intern. Whoa, that faints. Well? Okay, eight frame animation of a faint. <laughs> Simon fainted. Pikachu, go! Why did you tell us that before? He's dead. If I told you I was part of the circus, it would've made me look suspicious, right? Since I also knew Knightley and all that. I didn't think anyone would believe what I had to say. Not even you guys, okay? Didn't we promise to believe in you? But, but Mr. Edgeworth, you're not supposed to be so nice. D Dude, man, don't be like that, huh? Man, you're just terrible at getting info from people, aren't you, Miles? <laughs> That's none of your concern. It's like we need to have a talk with him again. Okay, let's get that information. You know, I was thinking about it in between videos. I think the dog probably dragged the body to where when Frank saw it, saw it, saw him, you know. <laughs> then he just thought the dog was attacking him, but the dog was like setting him down or something. Anyway, what'd you do? Sorry for holding up like that. I'm, sometimes I like to stop and explain what I'm thinking, but I don't want to do too much of that, you know, it's a wild animal tamer. That's incredible. So you command lions and tigers to do your bear bidding? No, nothing crazy like that. No way, no way, no way, no way. My partner is this... Oh, no! Not that monkey. Oh, no. Then that makes you a wild animal tamer. He's more like an organ grinder than a wild animal tamer. <laughs> what? I didn't expect him to be that small. I always pictured him as like a human-sized... Okay. Hey, money, cut that out. He can be quite a handful sometimes. He's playing with my hair. He's playing with my hair. I'm hanging my hand in the air, air, air. Don't know what I'm doing next. Now he's driving mine like a truck. Driving my like a truck. Yeah, well, I don't know, man. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Yesterday you told us you were just a regular employee, correct? So even if I'm a member of the circus, I'm still legally an employee. I'm just like any regular company. The ringleader is the boss and I'm just a grunt. Please don't ask me about the location of the remaster's head, because I don't know. I even have a supervisor. She's the head of the Wild Animal Tamer Division. Oh my gosh. No matter what kind of fierce creature, they all immediately follow her every command. He's talking about Regina, isn't he? <laughs> she might even be able to get a handle on Miles here. No thank you, I'm not a wild animal and I'm also not 16. Do and your supervisor take part in the animal show here at the prison? Yeah, it was just us two. It was only a small operation this time around. Basically, my supervisor takes center stage, and I take care of all the dirty work. Well, I did have a tiny part in the performance. Oh. So there are only two members of the circus that are related to this case. Okay, so no Mo after all, I guess. I don't know whether to be happy or sad about that. I guess the monkey's not happy, but... <laughs> so can you tell me about your movements around the prison? My movements? Yeah, I move my leg and then I do the cha-cha. I went and meet Knightley two days ago around noon. Okay. That's when you gave him the chessboard. That's right. And then that night, I started setting up the stage in the courtyard. 
feels pretty tough going back and forth, moving all the crates by myself. Yeah, that it was. I left everything in. Workroom A, I think. Just temporary storage. Uh-oh. Yeah, it was. Didn't your supervisor help you at all? No way, I can't learn to do anything like that. That's my job. After I got everything ready, we started rehearsing. That's when we left. Or when we left, it was almost midnight. The show was set to start at 8 a.m. the next day and go on till 10 a.m. The only one who went in and out of where the body was found is Mr. Keys. Uh. And then the body was found just before the show ended. Well, uh, do you know anything about your reasons for arrest? Because those other guys, man. Hmm. It's weird how it happened so fast. I don't think that the pest guy yeah, would have you with the rest on a whim. Wouldn't put it past him, though. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, well, maybe it's because of that. When I was moving the crates, I decided to go check up on him. You know, nightly. Oh. Oh, boy. No, I had to sneak in. It wasn't a formal visit or anything. Didn't you already see him two days ago? Why would you go and do such a thing? Because I missed him. I'm sorry, I can't help it. We're the only friends either of us had since childhood. Really? He was the same as me. We never had real families. I just wanted to talk with him for a bit, so I went to see him. Hmm. Didn't have a family. Well, I can see how you would connect with Regina on that front, anyway. When I was younger, I lost the only family I had, my father. So is that it? All too well how it feels to lose your father at a young age. You're the same as Mr. Edgeworth and me. We all have daddy issues, it's like lost. So it was just the two of you talking at the time. Yes, all the other cells were empty, and there weren't any guards nearby either. <laughs> but then you got found out, and that's why they suspected you. What? What? Did I do something really bad? Are we gonna count those watts? I don't know. I guess we should. Something happened while they were alone. <laughs> That's probably the best logic. But it's not the best logic. Ugh, never mind. Seems that we'll need to talk to your supervisor as well. She should be here today too, probably in the courtyard. Ooh, I'm sorry it turned out like this, boss. <laughs> Simon, if there's anything we can do to help, just say it. You know, Simon says, get it. What, what? Oh, this guy's gonna jack up the counter single-handedly. Three digits by tomorrow, I betcha. <clears throat> That's because we're like birds of a father. Feather. <laughs> right, Mr. Edgeworth? Birds of a feather, huh? Well, I suppose that's true. We have sufficient information about your past. I doubt you had a motive to kill Knightley. Rather, you are probably the most affected by his death. <laughs> and I doubt someone as timid as you could work up the courage to murder someone. That is until we see your transformation. Uh, if you have one, holy crap, I can only imagine. Maybe his hair goes flying off in every direction like Komeda. Hey, dude! <laughs> no. Well, what do we have here? Starting to get a hang of the whole defense attorney gig? You sound a bit like your old man just now. Oh, I knew I always had it in me. Sound like my father? He would say the defense attorney's job is to be an ally to the deserted. If you're going to ride that stop stallion into the sunrise, wait for me, I want in too. Dude, you can totally help me. Why don't you stand by me in court? Just don't get, you know, don't start channeling somebody and have your clothes stretch all out, you know? Oops. I think, uh, he must have misread. <laughs> want some candy? No, thank you. I don't like sweets. Well, lucky you. Must be nice. Oh, really? What a shame. What's wrong with the sunrise? The legendary Yadigarasu is all about the sun. Since the sunlight always exposes the truth. Good grief. <laughs> For now, let's just head to the prison courtyard and see what we can find there. Let's go! And back to jail we go. Oh, the shutter is open! Boy, there's a different door open here every time we come here. Okay, that's what we're waiting for. Come on, let's get a move on! 
Well, she's certainly in high spirits. Yeah, I know. She's anxious to meet more girls and recruit them into her thing. And the guy did say it was a girl who did the animal taming and all. So this is the courtyard. Just before the body was discovered, the animal show was held here. It's just like a carnival. Man, I bet it was lots of fun. Oh, there she goes. Okay, so that means whoever saw the show has an alibi. Okay, well, that's good to have. We should start by checking the area for... <sighs> yes! Check it for yawns, man! Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, he's... You there, stop right this. What? He's not gonna listen to you? He's an elephant! What a violent elephant! Down, SD, down! There she comes. Who are? Oh man, looking good, Regina, looking good. How old are you now? Looks like you found a new playmate. Good for you, Astique. <laughs> it wasn't playing around, it was about to eat me! Yeah, well, so saith. No way, that's impossible. I've done my- I've had my share of experience with animals eating people, and he was not about to do that. <laughs> this child doesn't bite. Often. Often, huh? I've never seen you, have I? People normally never get to play with an elephant up close, isn't it wonderful? Boy, you're just as bouncy as ever. <laughs> it's wonderful, right? Yeah, I guess. It was simply marvelous, little lady. Mr. Shields. Really? Oh, it makes me so happy. So happy. You get a so happy counter going here. So how about a hug? Yes, thanks. Oh! That elephant's like, don't you be messing with her, she's mine. Weren't you taught not to hit people with your... thing? Oh, it looks like SD is friends with everyone. I have no idea what kind of voice you can do. I'm an assistant of this defense attorney. My name is Miles Edgeworth. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Regina Berry. Nice to meet you. I'm the great thief and defense attorney's assistant's assistant. Okay, fair <laughs> Oh, man. That must have been fun to write. That's a rather complicated job title. And the one playing with Mr. Elephant is defense attorney Mr. Ray Shields. It's not Mr. Elephant, it's Astique, the fantastic Asian elephant. You're incredible, Regina. You made Astique stop right away. Well, I'm a wild animal tamer, after all. Damn. Really? You must be Simon's supervisor. Yep. I'm the head of the Berry Big Circus, Wild Animal Tamer Division. One and only Regina Berry. <laughs> oh, well. All your worst nightmares come back to home to. Not so much her, but, you know, you can't help but think of other things. Looks like he's the one she has a handle on. So whatever happened to Bat? You want to tell us about that? Did he ever wake up? What are you mumbling about, Kay? Oh, you know what she's thinking. Yep. She could be the new member of the Yadagarasu. Yep. Man, I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, man. The Great Thief? That sounds like fun. We can make a huge ruckus with the animals. Oh, you can't make a ruckus. The Great Thief is supposed to be quiet and sneaky like. That's not gonna happen for you. But the show needs to have Flash! Being quiet is kind of boring. <laughs> oh, guess she's not very thief-like after all. Well, damn. Strike one from the list. I get this picture of Sally Field and Miss Doubtfire in my head doing this when, when she talks to that babysitter and she's like, I don't do dishes, I don't do stories, I don't do hugs, it's whatever. <laughs> Even look through the barbed wire. As long as we don't try climbing over it, I think we'll be okay. Alright, well, first things first, let's talk to our assistant assistant. The animal show. Man, it's such a shame. What is? I should have joined the circus. I just know my amazing rope escapes would have received standing ovations. That's a shame indeed. <laughs> Edwards just doesn't care at all. All set for me now is to solve this case and take part in their next show. Come on, let's hurry and finish collecting information. Right. <laughs> right you are, so barbed wire. 
Danger! High voltage! These signs really do exist. On the other side, you can see what appears to be the detention center's garden. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's see how that works. If it weren't for this barbed wire, we could take a look at the garden on the other side. Well, you can look at it from here, but... <laughs> Unless he's growing weed back there, it's probably not much to see. That is Warden Roland's prized garden. I doubt she'd let us in so easily. Mm-hmm. What's up, man? What's the matter? Uh, what do you think about this? This is nice. Feels like a dream. Circus performance can be considered an art form. My pounded heart is beating with excitement. Don't tell me. Not every day you get to see what goes on inside the circus tent. <laughs> that sure makes me want to give it a big hug. <laughs> Having an animal show inside a place surrounded by barbed wire always makes you forget that this is a prison facility. It kind of does, doesn't it, actually? I kind of forgot. <laughs> We didn't see the animal show, but the stage and equipment are still here. Should examine the remnants of the show. I get a feeling we're gonna find something interesting here. I'm not ignoring you, I'm just thinking to myself. I do that a lot. Uncle Ray's feeling faint. Never seen such dreamy eyes. She does seem to have an enchanting presence. Exactly. Feel like I must obey her. I wonder if she cracks the whip when she's taming her animals. <laughs> With those sparkling eyes, she'll say, Down, boy! That's what you're after, I have someone in mind. <laughs> you know someone like that? You must introduce me, Miles. She's the whip-carrying demon from the prosecutor's bench. Oh, can you imagine? Oh my god, those two... Hmm. Hello. Head of the Wild Animal Tamer Division. Are you Mr. Key's supervisor? That's right, Barry Big Circus was created by my daddy. But daddy died in a murder incident. Now he's a star in the sky. Your dad is... Man, everybody's dad is dead around here. But after that, our current ringmaster's head made the circus even bigger. The ringmaster's daddy's close friend. He's like a funny uncle. Oh! Wow, a funny uncle. That's great, Regina. <laughs> yup, Uncle Mo established the ring. Ventriloquist divisions, whoa. Only the wild animal tamer and ventriloquist divisions have subordinates, though. Fairy Big Circus is going to become an even more fabulous, an even more fabulous period. Hmm. Yeah, no, oh, don't worry about it. That's worth you're fine. Could you tell us about the animal show? It's an amazing show. It has a storyline and everything. A storyline? What's more, it's a love story. Doesn't that sound wonderful? That sounds completely weird. Very nice. Are you the heroine, Regina Pie? Nope, the heroine of the show is Estique. It's like Dumbo, sort of. And her partner is Regent the Tiger. Oh my god. It's about the forbidden love between an elephant and a tiger. The elephant and tiger? <laughs> forbidden love? That reminds me of a joke I heard once. I can't think of it now. Uh, that's right, it's what they call a love triangle. Isn't it romantic? It sounds amazing. Right, Mr. Edgeworth? He's just like, whatever. Heroin Estique is a female elephant. Well, since it's a love triangle, shouldn't there be one more animal involved? Yep, the third animal. He's the one who interferes with the love between Estique and Regent. It's not the monkey, is it? Mr. Edgeworth, what do you think it is? Well, since it's a circus, perhaps a lion? It could be that too, the problem is their lion <laughs> isn't there anymore. Oh, it is the monkey! That's... that monkey, man! But Astique won in the end because money doesn't matter, right? Money the monkey! Nope, the one who plays the role of the monkey is Sa- Oh my god! Um... Money is a little too small. He's like the villain who tries to break up the love between Astique and Regent. How will Astique and Regent control their own destiny? Isn't it wonderful? I guess. I thought Mr. Keys just did all the grunt work. Wouldn't you feel sorry for Simon if he or wouldn't you feel sorry for Simon if he didn't get to perform on stage? Okay, preparations. Here goes nothing. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm still can't believe this. Like, oh, 
Could you tell me about the preparations for the show? Simon handled everything, so I don't know that much about it. Simon insisted on it. He wanted me to focus on the show. I saw Simon doing something near the well, though. The well? Was he thirsty? Maybe he was getting rid of something? He even moved this giant cage all by himself. Simon is such a nice guy. Eee, that sounds like something Simon would do. While crying profusely. <laughs> this man, it's like he's the new gumshoe or something. Simon is to the very big circus as gumshoe is to the police force. During the preparation, Simon went back and forth between work in the courtyard. We were using the workroom to store our equipment. Only Simon entered that room, so I don't know anything about it. The workroom? Was it the one where we found the dead body, or where somebody did? Hmm. Mr. Lawyer, please, pro please promise me you'll help Simon. Don't worry, despite his looks, Mr. Edgeworth is really amazing. Despite my looks? Just what is wrong with the way I look? Absolutely nothing. Do not change. Never change, Edgeworth. Oh, here comes the barrel lady. There you are, Regina, darling. <laughs> ah, Miss Roland. I was looking all over for you. I wanted to have a little chat with you. Okay. How's it going, barrel lady? <laughs> the prison. Could you tell me a little bit about this prison? <laughs> wow. Currently, this place is my pride and joy, which I like to call our home. When I first came here, this prison was in a terrible state. Terrible state? You mean the prisoner's attitudes? There were no bad children in my family. It was the environment that was terrible. That's why, after giving it a lot of thought, I enlisted the help of the animals. Being together with animals will soften up even the most hardened criminals. <laughs> right now, everyone has returned to their most honest self. Just take a look at Frankie. He's a model prisoner. Mmm, he told me that as much, like, about numerous times, actually. Ugh, alright. There are lots of model prisoners here, but Frankie is number one. He's number one, alright. He's proactive with his job training and helps out with the chores. Don't the other model prisoners do job training and chores? Eh, don't be silly. They all do, of course. It's just a Frankie here. He has a sight set on something different. Oh? Something feels strange. Well, don't it, though. Doesn't it feel strange to you, future self? In any case, he's a very- In any case, he's a very good boy. Please get along with one another. It's funny how much I made you sound like him, actually, just now. The enchanting music, the prancing animals, the very big circus is fabulous! <laughs> if you come here, you can see a show once a month. Really? Maybe I should. Maybe you should not. <laughs> Once a month, you said. Is it always the very big circus? Of course, I'm Regina Darling's biggest fan. My darling Regina, she's just so fabulous. Whoa! That was on the lips. She's such a cutie pie, I could just eat her up while kissing my dog. She really likes her darling Regina. That's why I'm worried. I was about to say, is the dog's name Regina, but no, she told us the dog's name before. And it wasn't that, it was like, some four-letter A word. Worried about Simon. Oh. <laughs> Little Simon, I'll do my best. If there's anything I can help with, please don't hesitate to ask. Well, uh, that's what I'm about to do, I guess. Can I present something? Do I even need to do this? Like, uh, what about the keys? During the attack on the guard, the key to Nightly Cell was stolen, current location unknown. Do you know anything about this, maybe? Ooh. Ooh, very well. Come here, you. Let go of my hand, that's not what I wanted you to look at. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Thoughtless of me. A proper greeting should begin with a hug and a kiss. This isn't a drug. this isn't a prison. This whole thing is like, some kind of setup or something. This facility is filled with my love! Once you step inside, you won't be able to leave. You'll form iron bonds. So you're saying that the security here is flawless? Come now, would you please stop using such crude words like security? Chains of Love! That's a song by Erasure, and it's really good, even though anybody, the only one everybody talks about is always, but 
She thinks everything's alright just because of her tight bonds. Ugh. What about Saul? It's broken bracelet. Yeah. For starters. <laughs> Do you know anything about the dog? Just by... Uh-oh, oh jeez, oh, what the... Oh, that is scary! Wow, even the little guy is, like, looking a little ferocious here. Her expression changed. She turned into a black mage, is what she did. Could you tell me about this family member? You're mistaken, those outside of my circle of love are not called family members. Outside, so there is a circle here. Hmm. Prison investigation? Did you hear anything about this? You were in charge of the investigation inside the prison, correct? That's right. Everyone helped out and we split up the investigation. Everyone? You don't mean the animals. <laughs> of course, they were all happy to help. I heard that in the end, you didn't find anything. That's right, everyone did their best though. Splitting up the investigation with the animals. <laughs> it doesn't seem very reliable. I don't know, like... He never got the chance to become a part of our family. No matter how many times I called out to him, he would not respond. He was just a nice little boy who loved chess. It's such a shame. Uh... She's in her own little world. <laughs> you know, Edgeworth, I was trying to think of how to word that, and you pretty much just put it right out, put it right into words. I don't think there's... yeah, there's probably nothing else here. Except for maybe the badge. I could try it. So you're the one who brings me my new family members. <laughs> well, in a manner of speaking, I kind of am, aren't I? Thanks to you, our home has become much more lively. Please bring us a hundred more, or even a thousand more people. I just love lively places. I suppose you'll be bringing in the same number of animals, too. But of course! <laughs> it wouldn't be a stretch to say that this place would become the world's biggest zoo. The zoo. You know it. Well, I think we've done enough talking. We have not examined anything yet here, so... This is the stage where they put on the animal show. If I put on a great thief show, I wonder if anyone would come. I'm pretty sure the police would show up. <laughs> wow. Is this like used to be a basketball court? Mm. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Oh, Mr. Rotary, what are you doing today? No, I'm just kidding. 